Chuck, let's start with Macy's. Hey, good what do you take away from a race to guidance, but ultimately, once again, conveying that that consumer is somewhat cautious? Yeah, I mean, the Macy's numbers were, were decent this morning. Um, comps came in a little bit better. Gross margins, however, were weaker. Um, they, they noted in their release they had to move some summer seasonal and spring seasonal items uh, to get inventories in better shape. So that was that was smart for them. And then they essentially kept guidance intact. They nudged it up uh, both the, the, the low end and the top end by about five cents. So what, what we can take care of, and you can also look at the Lowe's numbers, which also came in a little bit better. You can see the pre-action uh, on both stocks that um, you know the numbers weren't, weren't terrible more, more, much worse than expected, um, but we do agree. We think the consumer is is discerning right now, and we expect that that trend to probably continue for most of the year. With the numbers better than expected, because these retailers are doing a good job at figuring out where consumers are willing to spend, or are they better than expected because the consumers may be discerning, but they're still spending quite a bit. Probably neither, actually. I mean, the, most of the beats are, are really below the below the line. Um, and, and in case of Macy's, you know, their SG&A rate was a little bit better. Um, and, and in the case of Lowe's, the gross margin is actually a little bit better. And, and like I said, the top line pretty much intact, you know, a little bit better. Um, so so we'll, we'll see how it plays out over the next you know, few days. We have a lot of earnings coming up with Target and, and TJ tomorrow, followed by BJ's and Ross on Thursday, and then, and then a, a lot more actually next week as well.